Well, I didn't have the camera rolling and I'm just hiking in here to uh, get a couple of my trail cameras. I have one over in this direction and I have one way over in this direction. And uh, hopefully they're both still there and we get some cool stuff on video. I haven't, uh, sorry I'm out of breath, been hiking through all this up and down and up and down. And, but anyways, uh, I haven't actually gotten this camera since I believe July and it's kind of dumb because uh, there's usually a lot of good deer in here. But I was walking along, I brought all the cameras just in case and I was like, you know, I probably will find something when I'm not, when I'm not having anything going like the GoPro or anything. And I look over and there's a shed right there. So I guess I should probably, probably start recording. Looks like a fairly decent one. I walked right above it and then I walked around it. Let's take a look. Old one. Uh, I guess I got to start running the cameras. <laughs> I don't know if that one's worth uh, really in there. Uh, little guy in great shape. Is old. That's pretty cool though. One on the board. Man, this has been my like best year I've ever had, and just in numbers wise. This is a decent little buck, so we'll put that on the backpack and we'll start heading towards the trail camera again. Yeah, the sign's good in here. There's a nice big rub right there. That's a good one. I can get my camera adjusted here just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's uh. There's always been a lot of good sign in here. And this is leading right towards the camera. I think it's this camera south a little bit, but it's always a good sign. Oh, that's a big old rogue up there. Like I said, there's a ton of deer in here. There's also some moose, every once in a while some elk, but that's a nice big rub. That's always super cool. <laughs> yeah that's how we like it rub shed that's cool it looks like an older one yeah it looks kind of like an older one looks like a decent one though we'll go and uh we'll go and pick that one up well it's a good thing i have the camera rolling instead of this first time all right Oh yeah, it looks like a nice one. All right, let me get everything situated here and we'll go pick that guy up. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, it looks like this year's. Uh, oh man, oh, he's got some cool character. That's a good buck. It's got some color on it. It might've been just out here for a while, but that's a beauty. It's got that split in the back. That's cool. Now I've never seen a mule deer in this area, so it's definitely not a mule deer. <laughs> that's just a whitetail. Man, that's an awesome one though. That's nice, nice big one, nice long tines. That's really cool. Well, this just kind of confirms I've been really dumb the last couple of years and I haven't, uh, I haven't been shed hunting this at all. I really don't shed hunt that much. This is the first year I've really, really went after them. And I've had a lot of places where there's a lot of animals and it makes sense for them to shed in here. I just I usually set trail cameras up and then I go right to my trail cameras every time I come in here. So I don't really explore that much, which is a really dumb part of mine. But uh, yeah, another one on the board. That's a beauty. That's a nice big one. I'm trying to think. I mean, he'd probably be a shooter in my book, especially in early archery or late archery. But yeah, awesome. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, my trail camera is still here. That's what we want to see. I uh, just kind of want to want to see if this uh, camera lasted this long or not. I doubt it. I'm gonna pop this guy open and see if it's still going. Nope, it's dead. <laughs> but that SD card is still in there. Everything is good to go. Hopefully, uh, 
hopefully it's got lots of good camera there are lots of good pictures and we can go take a look at them when I uh, when I get home that's good 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 the sign in here is just unbelievable like I really don't understand why I, I just completely forgot about this spot and so dumb of me because there's so many animals in here I should focus on it at least a little bit so we're gonna get this untied and start uh, heading back towards the other camera it's on the other side of where I park so uh, I figure I'll just walk in there and shed hunt while I'm doing it so should be good look how crazy these trails are yes beat down Oh, there's an oldie. That one right there. Let's see if that one's... Yeah, oh, little guy. Yeah, that one's been there for a while. Uh, we'll get the pickup on that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, that one's not worth busting out the big camera. Cool little buck, though. It's been in the ground for quite a while. Oh, there's number three for the day. Number three and a camera. <laughs> So we're doing better than we did last time. It's always good. All right. Well, let's make the trek back to the other camera. I want to check out one other spot too. We used to have a camera there. And uh, you just never know. Could be some good sign over there too. I kind of just want to check it out. All right. Seen a lot more elk sign in here than I usually do. I don't know if they're wintering in here more or what. But lots of moose sign. Heading back to a spot just to check out, just because we used to uh, have a camera there, and it was a killer spot. Jared and I built a little ground blind. Everything was looking good. And then the bucks for early season just completely disappeared. I think the first day we actually hunted it in here, there was just coyotes everywhere. So we're going to go take a look at that real quick. If I can find it. <laughs> Is this it? up one here's another rub just a little guy man lots of tracks they're definitely in here here Whew. this little patch of trees just has so many trails going through it I wanted to come check out this just to see how it was looking this is definitely a good spot for another camera possibly even a stand is it they were always bedding in here oh shoot there's and there's a shed oh that's a great one too that kind of makes me sick we had a we had a camera here <laughs> uh, 
I think that might have shed on camera if we would have left that camera here. That's crazy. That looks like a good one. I'm going to turn on the big camera for that one. Look at that sucker. That one's fresh too, just sitting right out in the sun. Getting all bleached. He's got tons of points. I might know that buck. I might know this buck. Well, let's get over there, get the camera ready, and go take a look at it. Oh, man, that's a killer buck. That's got some good mass. I think I have that one on camera. I have, like, a couple years experience, or history, not experience, history with that buck. And I think it's the same one. That's a great looking deer. He was a mainframe five by five, but I think he's seven years old this year. And man, he, does he know how to survive. So let's go take a look at it. Oh man, yeah. That's gotta be him. His eye guard's got quite a bit bigger. He's got some junk on the base. Man, hopefully he's on camera. He's got a little chip right there, but man, look at that. That is a beauty. He's got some mass. This has to be the buck that I have. I have some history with. Look at that button on there. Nice and fresh. Nice brown. Man. Gosh, he is heavy. Heavy, heavy. And he's broke off a little bit back here. Broke off right there. That is just a killer buck. He's one I've been after since he was, what, four. And last year, he just wasn't showing up on camera that much in the early season. And like I said, I didn't focus on this area much. I had some other big bucks that I was going after. So I just decided I'll just uh, stop hunting him. And that was kind of dumb of me. I'm definitely gonna be putting a couple more cameras in here this year just to see what he ends up being. He definitely looks like he's gotten smaller like frame wise and gotten more junk like either that or this is a different buck with very very similar genetics which it could be a possibility too i have no clue what he was looking like this year well dang like right our camera was like right back there <laughs> uh, and then we moved it for this upcoming season or this last season ah uh, man let's see if we count all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine on his left side. There's a lot of junk, as you guys can see. Look at all that junk around his bases. That is super cool. Well, I'm gonna start zigzagging. This is one I wanna match up. So I'm just gonna start zigzagging through here. It can't be too far. With how heavy that thing is, you wouldn't think he'd wanna have that on his head very much longer. So we'll get going and try to find the match. I, uh, I spent a ton of time on that side of the road and still nothing. I haven't found anything yet. So I'm crossing the road now. I'm gonna turn the GoPro back on. I had to put a new battery in. Uh, and like, like I said, tons of sign in here. I mean, there's deer, elk sign everywhere. Every trail has got a ton of it. Uh, it's just crazy. So definitely been in here a lot. It's gonna be a lot of fun to see what the see what the cameras have on them. Hopefully, they lasted a long time and we got some cool stuff. But I'm gonna turn on the GoPro, start zigzagging through here. I gotta match up that one buck. That's like if it takes me all day. Uh, that's what days off are for. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep zigzagging through here. Hopefully, find something good. Oh, here we go. There's one right there. Uh, it's an old one. A little guy. You guys see that down there? Probably not another one to bust out the big camera. But we'll take a look. Oh man, it's in there pretty good. Another good, solid little buck. Awesome. Well, putting together a nice little pile today. That's nice. Uh, we got to find the big one. That's the goal. Well, at this point, I've seen just a pile of bones. 
like there's bones laying everywhere i keep seeing neck vertebrae and like a whole bunch of stuff so i'm expecting to find a body here pretty soon looks like a a deer and it probably either a coyote kill or either a coyote kill or a cougar kill and there's a lot of cougars in here so i don't know i keep thinking i'm gonna find something buried and there's a ton of beds in here so i just keep thinking there's something in here ah see there's more bones like that that looks like a neck vertebrae right there i'm talking about it but that one right there i don't know we could be where cougar's been eating stuff is that something right there that's a head There's a skull in there. Oh yeah, hey, that's a little buck. That's my first deadhead of the year. I'm thinking cougar kill. And the way it's looking in here, it's like a little massacre scene. Well, let's go pick up this little buck. Oh, shoot. That's a bigger buck than it looks like. <laughs> that's a pretty good buck. All right. Well, let's go take a look at this thing. Get the camera set up. Oh man, that's a pretty decent buck. That was definitely killed this year. It's in pretty good shape. Holy cow! Look at that sucker. That's a funky looking deer too. Man. He's got some velvet still on the back here. He might have been killed right after velvet. He doesn't have much color. So maybe, I'm definitely thinking, something's been chewing on his nose there. So, I'm thinking cougar kill. That's a killer buck though. I don't have this one on camera. At least I don't think so. I've had some funky looking deer in here, but I don't think I've seen anything like that. That's a, a weird looking buck. Swooping antlers. Dang, I'd probably shoot him. Probably just the character. Hopefully he passed on some. Well, never mind. I don't really want that genetics. Uh, it's kind of a funky looking buck, but it's probably good that he's out of here. That's crazy looking. Well, that's my first deadhead of the year. That's cool. Well, we're going to get him put on the backpack and keep looking for these other ones, but that's awesome. I mean, that's a good solid buck. Crazy. Definitely thinking cougar kill with all the bones and everything in here. And there's like stuff turned up. A lot of dirt turned up, like it's been unburied and stuff. Something might have just unburied him and drug him over there. Pretty good condition though. Nothing's really got to him. Some chip tips. He's got some chew marks on the back here, but nothing too, nothing too big. Really cool though. Hi. Well, I'm roasting, so probably should take the sweatshirt off. Let's put them on the bag and keep looking for these other ones. Oh, just gonna keep following these trails. A lot of sign. I just try to pick the best one and go. Ha! <laughs> uh, I'm looking right down in front of me. There's an antler right there. Hey. There's a double, maybe that's a match. Here's some old ones. There's one over there too. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's one right here. Ah, uh, let's pick those up. They look decent. They look kind of old, but that's, uh, let's get the camera set up and go pick these up. That's cool though. Let's go get these. Lots of deer tracks right there. Oh yeah, all oh, these kind of broke. That one's been here for a while. Cracked. That's cool though. There's one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, that one's in there pretty good. 
Oh, not the match. No. Pretty cool though. A couple little guys. It just shows me that this area has really not been hit at all for shed hunting. And I've been hunting it for what now? Almost four years? <laughs> so I'm thinking I'll probably have to come back in here a little bit more. This one's got some cool mass on it, kind of webbed out there. That's a cool little buck. That's uh, just a, your basic little four. So we'll add that to the pile here. It's pretty cool though. Getting another little pile going. Uh, still really want to find that match to that one, but it might be pretty hard in here. So we'll see. We'll add these and keep on trucking to the other camera. Hopefully that camera's there too. That one I'm really interested in. This one was kind of a scouting camera. I know that Bucks used the other spot. So we'll get this going. Okay. That nice big buck back there, geez. All right, let's get going. An antler. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, there's another nice one right there. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna get this camera set up for that. Oh, I'm wearing myself out today. Oh, I can start getting in shape. All right, let's go take a look at this guy. That looks like a Pretty good one. Oh yeah, oh man. Oh, is that the mat? Oh, that's gotta be. Holy crap. That is, okay, that's awesome. There it is, there's the match. He's got all the same kind of junk on there. It's gotta be the match. Oh, come on, be the match. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, get this guy out of the way. Oh, please be the match. Please be the match. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. I'm going to get close to the camera. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful buck. It has to be the one that I have all this. Oh, man, it's got to be the one that has I have all this history with. His eye guards, he's gotten funkier, but man, that is a good buck. It's hard to tell, but he is super heavy. Like, he doesn't look like super massive. Like, you get, like that one buck's got really long tines. This one doesn't. But man, he's got mass all the way out, and he's super heavy. That is so cool. That is awesome. That's the one I wanted to find. Took me a while. Oh man, this has been another great day. Look at that buck, awesome. That's a beauty. Oh, we gotta get some pictures taken with this one. This one's kind of nicer. Got some funky stuff going on with his points. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he ended up being a seven by nine this year. That is crazy. Oh man, okay. Well, I still got a ways to go to get my camera, so we could find some more. But that was the one I really, really wanted. Once I found this guy, I needed to find this one. That's a killer buck. Beautiful bases. Nice and fresh from this year. Big old bases. I mean, look how big that is to my hand. That's a, ah, that's cool. I'm hoping it's the one that I have history with. If it's not, then we have another target buck, which is fine with me too. <laughs> so uh, let's put these guys on the on the pack and let's go get this camera. Oh, oh, man, this has been awesome. a great day. Camera's there. So we got two cameras, no one stole those. That's awesome. This one's dead too, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get this one home and see what we can find on there. Hopefully we got some good bucks. Hopefully we got a whole bunch of stuff on there. Uh, I always love seeing all the other wildlife too. That's always cool. But uh, I'm gonna get this off the, whew, I'm dead. 
I'm gonna get this off the tree <laughs> and then uh, and then we're gonna start making our way back towards the truck uh, we got quite a haul today so I'm pretty happy with it I can't believe I matched that one up but man it's been a cool day so we'll get this done and we'll start heading back to the truck and then hopefully if I get back there um, to my house and I got some cool stuff to show you I'll show you guys at the end of the video so stay tuned you never know we could have some pretty cool stuff come up on camera so my uh, my GoPro battery died so it's not running but I'm coming down this new way I've never I've never been uh, through this trail there's a pretty decent rub there uh, there's a really nice one right there and here I am looking at that and guess what there's another antler sitting back here all hidden so looks like a good one <laughs> dang that's a nice one too it's just old I've never been over on this part of this property so that's pretty cool I've even put the trail camera in my uh in my backpack yet so oh, uh, get a little that one's in there pretty good yeah that's a cool buck man i knew there was a lot of deer in here i have a ton of trail camera pictures of some really nice bucks this one's real old you can see it's cracked through the main beam that's pretty cool though just shows the genetics in here look at that eye guard my goodness that's a that's a killer buck it's got some chew marks on it and stuff but that's okay we'll take it man another really really good day in the woods uh, I can't believe that <laughs> just walking out of here and I end up finding that big old rub I'm gonna have to mark that on the map and uh, this might be another area to put a trail camera you can see a whole bunch of beds in here and then that's you can see all the bedding area in there and then you can see that uh, nice big rub. So he's probably hanging out in here and then getting up and rubbing that. And then you can see on this trail, just working out, like there's quite a few rubs, some old ones, some new ones. So another spot to look at, but uh, I am thoroughly wore out for the day. So uh, I'm gonna get back to the truck and get home and go through some of these trail camera pictures. I'm hoping the batteries didn't die too soon and we got some cool, cool stuff on camera, but you never know but uh hold tight with us guys and hopefully we've got some cool stuff to show you at the end of the video all right well i'm back in the truck and uh i think it's time to go home <laughs> i'm wore out but i just wanted to show you guys it's quite a nice little haul right there we got quite a few in there we'll kind of go over them when i get back to my house and then uh, we'll look at some trail camera pictures hopefully find some good stuff all right, see you back in my place. So I'm back in my place and I just wanted to go over the antlers a little bit. I, I did go through the trail camera pictures and sadly our trail cameras only lasted about a month. So not anything too exciting to show you guys. There is a couple bucks that uh, I've had some history with. That's good to see at least they made it into September. But it's kind of sad because I wanted to see what there was uh, walking around during the rut. But anyways, uh, for... Uh, Another good day of shed hunting. Uh, I mean, that's happy. I'm happy with that anytime. 10, well, we got nine sheds in the deadhead, so I'll take it. Uh, pretty awesome day. And then I don't believe that that is the buck that I have the history with. I think this is probably his offspring, which is great. I mean, we got another buck to go after, but uh, yeah, I, I, he's just very similar, but he's got a lot more points in the base. And I think the ones, uh, I think the one that I have the history with is actually quite a bit bigger than that, unless he's really regressed. Um, I think he'd score quite a bit bigger. This one's just got a lot of character and it's a great buck, but we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. I'll go back out there and probably put uh, uh, some more trail cameras up at the end of the month start getting things going but that's a good buck too it'd be a nice one to see on camera but yeah i just wanted to go over these a little bit and 
and sadly I don't have any trail camera photos to show you guys but uh, thank you so much for all the support uh, we've been getting a lot more subscribers lately and we really really appreciate it and we're gonna be trying to put out as much content as possible this year so you know be looking out for a video every week or two weeks and we'll be trying to do something but uh, thank you guys so much for watching the videos and you guys keep living the uphill lifestyle